Hey guys, recently Tristan Tate did a debate with Joey Carbstrong about veganism. It's over one hour long. I'm going to review a small part of it, but pretty much all of it was a debate about morals, which is pointless, seeing as morals are man-made and every human being can have their own morals. It's nothing that you can even debate about. Tristan Tate is a religious sheep. He has his religious morals. And Joey Carbstrong has his own religion, which is veganism. So he also has his own morals. It's <laughs> you watching two religious brainwashed sheep debating each other about their own man-made morals, which they were brainwashed to follow. It's absolutely ridiculous. And any debate about veganism can be done within one minute. You simply tell the vegan that plants don't have over 15 micronutrients. It causes malnutrition. They never have a response. That's the end of the debate. So where is where is this going? Well, I'm I'm just asking for, to apply like to a cows, more consistent mindset. To chickens, where, where just, yeah, it's not consistent. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you might think it's stupid, but it I, I, don't, I don't see a cow as any different to to other sentient beings. Like I don't see them as any real difference in terms of suffering. And there we suffering. go. And there so, we go. You yeah. don't see a cow's do it. That's why I said. Do you believe that human lives and animal lives are the like, same? In terms of how they experience like a knife in the throat, it's just as bad for that cow as it is for like a child. So, so I think they're both wrong, you know? That's the food chain. Sharks don't care how I feel. They bit me in half either. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't think what sharks do is like ethical. I wouldn't mimic my behavior and go, hey, you know, sharks. Exactly. A shark can be ethical seeing as ethics are man-made. Other humans made up ethics, morals, and you believe in them. You were taught how to behave that's exactly what a slave is both of them are slaves but in different ways but essentially it's all the same both of them follow man-made ethics morals a shark or a natural human being that lives in the forest doesn't have any morals or ethics they simply do exactly what they want to do in everyday life they completely follow their instinct they are not enslaved Morals and ethics are invisible chains that a slave has. That's why this debate is such a joke to listen to. A shark will go and eat whatever animal it wants to eat. It will never think twice. Whereas a brainwashed slave human will think twice. And they will think if it's actually okay to do something. You don't have to apply this only to eating animals. You can apply this to anything you see in everyday life in this brainwashed society. They will always think, is this okay to do because of the consequences? They eat other sharks and lions eat other lions, cubs, and horrible things happen in nature. I would never point to nature and say that's an ethical way of us living in civilization. Obviously, that... Right, exactly. He exactly proves my point. In civilization, you follow morals and ethics, which is why you watch out what you say, what you do. It's typical slave behavior, whereas a wild natural animal, as he said himself, in nature, doesn't do any of that, they don't care about it naturally because you're not brainwashed. You're not an unnatural brainwashed human being. An animal in the zoo could potentially be brainwashed and abused to the point where they go against their own senses to an extent. Would justify us killing each other and eating each other. Cannibalism be, happens cannibal, in nature. Look, look, cannibalism's wrong. And if you're going to ever try to drag the argument of humans are in some way equal to animals, so we shouldn't treat humans this way, so we shouldn't treat animals in this way. If that is going to be the baseline of this last 10 minutes that you keep going on about, that's never going to be a conclusion that someone like me is going to reach. And it's not going to be a conclusion that any healthy person is going to reach either. No healthy well, person. It's just that we share. It's going to, it's it's going to ever share. think that ever. Ever. So, I mean, you keep looking for, I don't know what you're looking for me to say. I don't know if well, you want I mean, to... I'm mean, just trying to figure out what, what you what you fundamentally believe is like... Killing humans is someone... killing animals is fine. That's what I fundamentally yeah, exactly, believe. exactly. I'm trying to figure out why... Because that, to me, that's a contradiction, because for the same... For, I'm not telling anyone else, is Most people Most people disagree with you. Because they are... Most people don't think killing dogs is okay, like, but you think killing dogs is absolutely fine. I think if someone wants to kill their dog, it's fine by me. I'm not going to tell them not to. Their dog. And, 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 and in the case... He's funny. <laughs> He's also brainwashed, but uh, he makes way better points than Joey. Joey doesn't have much of a point at all. He's simply saying that all animals are sentient, including humans, obviously. We are also animals by definition biologically, which is why we should see other animals the same as us. But I thought God created the animals, one, and we're not even eating animals that were created by God, two. If you're a God-fearing, like, a Christian, 
these animals are created by human beings and they're genetically bred freak shows. So isn't is this like the work of so the is every fruit. Isn't this the, it, so is exactly, every fruit, fruits aren't sentient. Fruit. God created animals to feel pain and suffer with a brain and a central nervous system and all that. If you believe that? Why did God create animals to suffer and also experience well-being and happiness and, and your argument, feelings? Your argument but, broke but down in your first... Farm That's very simple. Animals were created to feel pain, to learn how to live and survive. If, for example, a small child falls and doesn't feel any pain, then they will fall again and again until they break their bones. Whereas if they do feel pain, which is why it's naturally like that, then they learn from it and they don't do it again. That's how it is for all animals. So I don't know how he doesn't understand that. Your, your argument broke down in the first five seconds because you're saying, oh, it's unnatural because these animals are created by humans by selective breeding. So it's every vegetable and fruit be we, everyone. No, but almost I mean, I'm exception. talking about sentient, I'm talking about the beings that, that, that matter morally like sentient animals. Apple, you know, chicken, that. chicken, apple, I don't care. God created apples not to suffer, no brain, no central nervous system, no pain receptors, no, no eyes, no, you know, so there's no nerves. So you can, obviously that seems like something that you can eat um, without causing many pain and suffering. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't, care, I don't care about chickens, I know chickens suffer. You can't actually really eat natural apples. They are very small and bitter. They are actually inedible. As Tristan said, they are cultivated, uh, man-made. They were bred to be that way. So factory farms are bad because no. they cause the animal suffering, yeah? No, they're not bad. So just it's just morally new. Factory farms are morally neutral, but cutting an animal's head off without them being cruel is, is better. Quote, quote, it's better, yeah. Is better, yeah. So sure. one is just one is good, which is cool that they're suffering. It's, the it's all good. Food. I can get I can get food everywhere in the, on in the world that I want, and yeah. factory farms are part of the supply and demand food chain. It's a wonderful thing that we can feed all these people on the planet. It's a wonderful thing yeah. that there are fewer people starving and dying of hunger than there ever was before at any point in human history. All right, that was basically the whole debate. Joey saying that it's wrong to kill sentient beings, and Tristan saying that no, it's just a chicken, it's a cow. I don't care about it. And most people also don't care, which is true if you would ask most people anonymously because maybe they don't want to say it on camera out of fear, then they would say that they don't care about the animals. And uh, if you really watch the face expressions of the vegans also, then you will see that they also don't care about the animals. What they do care about is how you see them, that you see them as virtuous. That's what makes them feel good and better than you. And that's all that veganism is about, essentially. As I said at the beginning, plants don't have over 50 nutrients. There's no debate here to be had really about veganism, seeing as it causes malnutrition. If a diet is so extremely unhealthy, then it doesn't matter if uh, it's morally wrong or whatever they want you to believe, right? Thanks for watching.